I have known about the back lever for a while, and sometimes I was trying to do some light variations of it, but I could never do a full back lever with no support. So I decided to give myself a 30 day limit to finally do this, especially since it looks like a super easy skill to do. It is not. So in this video you will see how I managed to achieve a back lever from this into a completely straight line like that. I will show you the top exercises that I progressed with, as well as a pretty bad injury I got from this. And how you can avoid it. And watch this video even if you're not interested in learning back levers, cause these techniques will help you to learn any calisthenic skills that you would like to. Everything started when I saw this guy on Instagram Reels doing insane calisthenics movements, which I'm also trying to achieve at some point in the future. I started following him and in about half a year he posted a really good feedback about his training app. So I decided to download it and try these workouts myself. And one of these programs was a back lever. And this is the program that I followed in this video. According to the app, you can start the beginner back lever program when you can do at least 10 pull-ups and 25 push-ups. I can do about 20 plus pull-ups and 50 push-ups, so I qualify for this. But I personally wouldn't care about these numbers much if I would really want to start this program. And this is the program I went for. Since for the intermediate one, I should have done at least 5 seconds of straddle back lever, which I couldn't do at that moment. But when I started the beginner program and did my first workout, I realized that it was too easy for me. I could easily hold a tuck lever, even do some tuck lever lifts, and I didn't feel like I was struggling. So for the second workout, I switched to the intermediate program right away, which was much harder than the first one, and I didn't qualify for it according to his rules. The program included two workouts per week, each of them taking about one hour, with a warm-up, main workout, some core exercise, and a stretch at the end. And when I started this program I was really struggling. When I was having an exercise to hold a straddle for 5-10 seconds, this is how it looked like. I could barely hold it even for 1 second, but even by doing it like this, I was still getting some attention, which I always like. At the end of this video I will show you how people reacted on the full back lever. But luckily for me there were other exercises which were more doable for me, and this is how I was doing my workouts for about 3 weeks. I was struggling, I couldn't do them in a full motion, and for enough time. And it lasted until the moment I realized that I was able to keep a back lever straddle. My legs were still pretty wide, but it was definitely a progress comparing to what I had in the beginning. And approximately at the same time I got some pain in my left elbow. Luckily it was one of the last days of the challenge and I decided to do a chest workout instead of a back lever, so that I don't miss a workout day. But I felt this elbow pain even more while I was doing a bench press. So I stopped the workout and went to the doctor. The doctor helped me, did some stretching of my elbow and asked me to show how I do my back lever. And this is when I did it very well for the first time. I was fully in parallel to the ground. The distance between my legs was minimal and the doctor also said that it was pretty good. What made me super happy. Doctor gave me a few exercises and shared one calisthenics resource which suggested that if I have any pain I should decrease my exercise level and focus more on the technique. And that's what I should have done when I first felt this pain in my elbow. As well as I should have focused more on the warm up and stretching before and after the workout, which I wasn't doing sometimes but now I do since I have this pain already. <laughs> so this is how my back lever looks like now. I would say it's really good and as I promised, here is how people react on the full back lever in the gym. Nobody cares. <laughs> at least I couldn't see anyone in this shot who would look at me. But I'm pretty sure that somebody behind the camera was staring at me. For now I'm planning to continue improving my back lever sometimes, but my main focus right now is gonna be a front lever. I already did two front lever workouts and I can see some progress in there already. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel cause soon I will be sharing how I learned a front lever. It's probably gonna be one of my best videos so far. And remember, if you're giving enough attention to the skills that you're learning, you will achieve it. So no matter what skill you're trying to learn, go for it and I believe in you. And for now I recommend you to check out either a video where I mastered a handstand in 30 days or this one where I learned a 90 degree hold from a complete zero in 30 days as well. Both of these videos are super motivating and cool and I'm not saying goodbye because I'll see you in one of these. Stay strong!